Have you encountered a scammer or have you been scammed? Know if it is a scammer or not in a pair program, especially here in America. Scammers are everywhere. Every opportunity this world can offer, everything you can think of, scammers are there. And they can be avoided because they are parasite and dangerous. Why? Because they offer no benefit in return. They only think of your money, which is their main goal. Not you, but your money alone. Anyway, I knew someone who was scammed. Like, we're not talking about hundreds of pesos here, but hundreds of thousand pesos were scammed. And they had to sell their property to pay for application and no one has to blame because we all know how desperate are we to help our family get out of poverty and the scammers are taking advantage of the situation. I just feel sad for her and to all victims of the scamming. Even in the au pair program, scammers are present. A group of people pretend to be a host family while the rest agency. Before I came here in America, I registered all au pair sites and guess what? Same as what you had experienced I had to go through in the hands of scammers before I found my host family. Imagine how much time and effort I spent to reply to these scammers, believing the possibility that they are legit host family. Imagine how many au pair applications I sent to different scammers and now I don't have any idea if they're using my identity to scam host family. So frustrating that I came to the point of giving up. I'm done. I stopped entertaining host families and thought that America is not meant for me. But you know, my fate increases and my dreams never stop that uh, maybe once in my lifetime, I'm able to visit America. And yes, it happened. I knew in America. Okay, move on. Two tips to know if it is a scammer or not in a pair program. Only two so that it will be easy for you to remember. Number one, video call. Every host family or any overseas employer, whatever job position being offered, will spend at least 30 minutes or less to interview their applicants. That's how they know if their applicant is worthy of the position offered, especially to the host family the life of their kid is at risk. They have to evaluate first before making a decision if they are interested in you to be part of their family. Scammers will communicate you through email, not video call. Why? Because no scammers would want to be discovered or to be caught. Easy as that. So legit host family will never allow someone to live with them they don't know. A legit host family will not forward you directly to their partnered agency without meeting you in person or through video call. You as an au pair have to go through the process of screening, interviewing, reference and background checks like normal applicants and that is to make them sure that you are qualified and trusted for the position before hiring you as an au pair. I hope it does make sense. Number two, fee. So registered Au pair agencies in the United States of America will surely ask for a fee and that's how the business runs. But the only exception is agency fee will be due after you have had successful visa interview. That simply means visa first, pay later. Which is a good thing. Wait, what is that agency fee for? As far as I know, it is for the screening and placement services like finding host family that matches your profile, visa processing, uh, resource materials like au pair orientation and training for three days upon your arrival in the America uh, and plane ticket back home. And I'm sure there's so much more that includes of an agency fee. And okay, here's the thing. So once the family decided to get you as their au pair, after video call and matchmaking, they will forward you to the agency they are under with and it is the agency's responsibility to take a review on your host family's application, sending you all the requirements that needed for the preparation of your visa. And they focus on your application to make sure that you meet all the paperwork needed before your visa interview and before your departure. And as far as I'm concerned, registered pair agencies in the United States 
will not ask money from you while your au pair application is under processing, not until your visa is granted or 30 days prior to your arrival in the United States. That means successful visa interview, visa granted, got the stamp on your passport, and waiting for your flight date. I hope it does make sense to you when to pay for the agency fee, which is contrary to the scammers' methods of tricking au pairs. So the most common technique for a scammer is a host family email you that they're interested in your profile and wanted to get you as their au pair. And if you think the same, then they will forward you directly without a video call, without interview to the said fraud agency. And that fraud agency will send you an au pair guidelines together with the au pair fee, noting at the bottom part that if you want to proceed your au pair application to the next step, then you have to pay first. A fraud agency will ask to transfer money to the said given name and address through Western Union or any remittance center. And every paperwork they'll send you has an exchange amount of money. Like, they will not ask you to pay full au pair fee charge, but one at a time until they have had enough of your money or you lost everything. So know the difference between pay first before requirements and a visa first, pay later. So this trick had happened to me before coming here in America and I'm pretty sure that you had experience what I experienced receiving lots of emails from fraud host families and agencies and it's uh, frustrating and tiring and if you are bored why not try to make fun of them since they're fooling you fool them back like i did and i hope you're not one of those who are victimized by the scammers and i hope you learned something from this video and uh, please share this video to other au pair for them to be aware of if they're applying in america and thanks for watching and please don't forget to click the subscribe button below. Bye. Ciao.